donation thanks to Crimbo. Windows being broken and some stampeding footsteps towards B. So much faking on this map, so much information off of the sound, where the T's are running, what info they want to give you, what they want to deny. So Heroic go very loud towards B, but then they sneak all the way back. Bit of an issue here. If you look at the defense from the CTs, right, this is hedging that it's going to be a mid or a B play. So they're going to be in a retake A setup here. Now, look, Tabson does have the smoke and the molly. It is possible for the retake, but they will concede the plant, right? If teams go in with this scenario, do you, 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 they should always have a kit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, if you retake without a kit, it's, I don't think it's you're playing to your advantage at all. But uh, I think this is going to be a normal situation. It depends on how sharp the teams are in the post plant. Okay, so it's all going to come down to the firepower here. Exactly, but they're smoking cone, which is good for Heroic, actually. They're going to fight, right? They're going to yeah. push him back. Now they have a lot, a lot more space than before if they would do the wall. Now let's see how they use it. It's an interesting plant there as well. So that, that won't be seen from ramp. They'll have they to should stay boost fighting. on the white box here now. Yeah, oh, this is very big. strong. This is very strong, Boost you cannot clear this angle. Alright. They have a nice flash probably. Oh, maybe not. Call it off. Issues now, time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such yeah. a dirty angle. They were set up too well, I told you. It depends on how the T's play, basically. So if this was a retake setup, right? If, you, if you're heroic and you've done your prep, it's Crimbo! <laughs> two Blimey. quick, clean maybe ones right there. Soon. The kid's not too far away, he needs oh, a third, can't he's... find it. Maybe we'll finish him off. So in that scenario there, right, Heroic running that strategy, it felt like they knew that they were going to get that respect, right? If you were worried about people playing close short, I don't know what you call it, but, you know, yellow gap, gap whatever, moving yep. different names, that, that setup they've run right there, they were heavy up ramp, they knew they could push you back easily. A lot of them came up crane. So does that feel to you like it's a counter strat there at all? No, I think it was the plan from the beginning. When you okay. buy only one util set like that, it's very straightforward what they want to do, I feel like. They also started B, making noise, spamming, boosting. Yeah, hoping, and hoping them back. that you'd at least pull big out of the A site and not fight for ramp. I think it's more like, I mean, for example, on pistol rounds, where you when you decide what you're going to do, you're going to do it. Both yeah. on T and CT, especially on this map, you're not going to rotate often. Teams don't do that often. So it's more like to give yourself more opportunity. Maybe they get some kills on B at the beginning. And if not, they just go to their original plan. Okay. But they're not really going to move big around. Four USPs here. And Big are not moving either. They are stacked up in middle. Might regress just as Jabby's left. Smooth. Well, they're a little bit late here, aren't they? So as they peeked out, they see Sector clear the rotation back over towards A, but they don't even have a flash to try and throw it through the high windows and swarm out. So if they get a kill or two here, they'll be confident with that into... Oh, oh this is a very good eco already. Yeah. Two kills is nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's also $300 bonus for their economy. Any more? They're not going to let it get expensive. Rifles are good to finish the job. 3 also oh, 2 0 oh, for Heroic as we have the guns coming out. And pff, a question on hyped is the AWP? No, he won't go for a glass. He wants his nades instead. I mean, we were talking about this last map, right? The A1Ss, especially on Vertigo, feel like one of the more powerful maps for it. When you have deep ramp smoke, deep short smoke, being able to spam through, so effective, but bigger heavy on the A4s. Yeah, that's three of them in total here. So look, I, I'm an I'm a A4 fan. I think it requires a little bit more skill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I think this will be interesting to see how it unfolds for Big in this one. Now, lacking a couple key pieces of U-Tool, no kit. Likely to see them have a different style of defense with some emissions in, in, in the util and the kit. Would you play differently in a scenario like this? Yeah, for sure. You have to be much more calculated. Maybe when you should take the risk and when you should use your uh, utility, for example. Um, but as you said, if, as you can see, the A players all have A1s, except Primbo, which is the rotation player of that team. But the two B players play A4 because it makes sense. Okay. It's it's a lot about what makes sense for your position now because everyone can play both. We're all professional players, right? You're making Valve very happy by saying that. Yeah. It's very balanced, honestly. It's very nice now. I think the the change they did. I'm very happy with it personally. Not many people would say that. I'm very I'm very glad to hear. Right now, Keto has used everything he's got. He's moved all the way back. It's crazy. We're at the minute mark, and Heroics still have so much util. So they've used their bodies here instead of util to condition, and now they've just thrown out some light util to make sure Keto isn't playing wood. During all of that regrouping, heading back towards A, this is a lovely molly here from Yab. Ooh, not going to throw it. No need, apparently. No. Wait. That's why, probably. They can. He offered it, but then they said maybe no. They don't need to molly it anymore. Okay. But this is a good setup by Big. Still fighting right the three here. 
Heroic started the round A, B, and A. And big, they've not fallen for it. A reboost is nice. No one hears that either. Molly, not going to spread enough. It's on the gap side, and he's really looking for this kill. It's going to come for free, and they get to drop off. Big in a 5v3, 20 seconds. Oh, this that? is extremely well played by Big, actually. They're playing numbers together. They're not even going to get the bomb down here. No, it's Tapson still alive. Spam through the smoke. Not going to find yeah. anything. Tapson drops one. It's just Katie and 30 points of health. Seven seconds left, and he goes down to Keto, and they like that one. Hyped. Doing exactly that. So well, it's good to see the young lads getting it, getting like that, yeah, right? It's course, same as yeah. when you joined, I, you were getting pumped. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm that guy in general, you know, it's very natural for me to be hyped. But actually about this round, as you said before, that they're using their bodies, in a way it kind of came back to haunt them yeah. because they had so much use they left that they didn't even force Big back yet. At 50 seconds, Big had a smoke. They had a ramp set up, a nice one, you know. It can also crumble, but it's that's how CS works, right? So and now they're into an Ica. Yeah, so yeah. For now. But, so I want to return to you saying he offered the the molly, right? So at, at this high level of play, if the mid defaulter, right, it's up to him to be switched on to understand what's going on elsewhere to offer that that util. Yeah, I'm a mid player myself. Yep. I mean. I have to offer it. I mean, sometimes maybe like David Frozen, for example, he plays ramp in our team. He could be like, oh, I want this molly from you now, but I need to keep track that I am in the passive position. I am in the calm position. I should look at the radar more. I should understand what my team is doing, listen to communication, you know? Yeah. And be help instead of being a nuisance, you know, like to my team, basically. So nothing like the pugs I play with these guys, where oh, I no, have, no. Uh, have a, a noose around everybody's neck, trying to reel them all in half the time. You do this, you do this? Yeah. No, no, no. You don't happen. have any of that going on? I mean, sometimes I would say I do it quite often, actually, because mm. I demand a lot from my players, from my teammates, you know. Um, that's how I see it. I like to micromanage a lot in tight situation. Also, when you are dead, for example, we have a rule. Most teams have this as well. The deaf guy has to come a lot because he has the overview. Yeah. He sees every screen in the game. So he has to kind of micromanage and stuff. And I think I'm trying to do it a lot in our team now. And it's very helpful, I believe, for my teammates. Nice. All right, we're back into play here. The gun's back out. Limp smoke in towards B, but Faven is still going to cross. So good territory. He had Keto and Krimbo there to help. So they really want this B stair control. Likely to see him park down here. Yeah, take B lobby deep. This is nice. Oh, yeah. oh he missed it. Oh, a bit to the, yeah. It would have been really good right. against Yabi here, but now he might be dead. Oh, oh, yep, over the tippy top of that smoke right there. You can see where, well, the deep smoke landed. The molly was meant to come into play. And our rook is just going to strafe, eh? Yep, just strafing me now. Tapson's trapped. He's going to fight for his life, and he was going to spam. There he's already. They are way deeper. Kadian gets another entry, and Hyped has to just throw himself into this round. Oh, they're on top default. Not an easy spot to clear. And now Keto in a 1v4 clean tower. Oh, he's on it right now. He's feeling it. He's feeling himself. And he's finding every single headshot. 1v1 now against the low health Yabby. He started B. Keto's here to finish them all. Patient. Yabby looking for the kill, but this is Keto's on a plate. You can feel it. He Ooh, starts to doubt himself. Yabby goes into the elevator, and oh. Keto wins the round. That's one before right there. What a clutch. What a beautiful clutch, and they love that. Gob trying to keep the troops calm there, but they really enjoyed that one. Um, Ooh, that one's going to sting for Heroic. Yeah, for sure. It's th those moments where you're overconfident, you know? And, and it will happen because, I mean, we are similar in that way where we play really aggressive, and sometimes when we don't need to, we're also aggressive because it's by nature now that we need to, you know? Mm. We feel like we want to demolish this guy. We want to peek him. We're all young as well, right? So most of us anyway. But yeah, something you need to work on. But yeah, it's just really good shots by him. They've gone forced by here. They yeah. weren't happy with that one at by, all. Yeah. Okay. Because well. they had one alive. Their guns also not good. So if Eroic somehow win this round, then it's really good for them. High risk, this high is... reward. Oh, it, oh, he thought but he cleared it. Again. Oh. It's right by him. Hello? 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 Okay, Tabson okay. just takes a kill. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's ugly. Oh, oh, that's no. even worse. Hype caught rotating to they B. They should know 2B now still. Oh, oh, nades are out there looking left and right in the open and middle. Oh, oh, God, Fama sucks. <laughs> Fama sucks. What and Krimbo's blind. On? This is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much response time available here for Big, even after fluff shots. So Heroic couldn't do anything with that space after they get the kill in mid. And now just Kadian. I say just Kadian. He does have the bomb. We've seen him win some mental clutches before. I feel like it's too early in the game. for Heroic now? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. With a tech nine. Oh, oh, he blocked him! Oh, nice save from Tabson. Jeez, Louise! Oh, he was on his head, so he couldn't run. Okay, Kadian. Why not? Why not just give us a 1v4 like this? 
That's why Krembo shuts it down. And Sasha, I want to go back to a, a point you made a minute ago about dead talk. I think it's a really interesting conversation. Obviously, being able to see everything and so therefore see what's open. For example, you're like coming a gap. Maybe your teammates uh, don't know the exact timing of something being open. You're communicating that. Now, where do you, in, in your own philosophy, draw the line mm. between backseat gaming and then dead talking, communicating, helping people out? Sometimes you may feel like you know what the right play is. You want to tell someone to do something. Do you? do that or do you think that's too far is there a line you have there i think the only way i, I think backseating in pro can only happen when it's in a clutch okay like i wouldn't tell somebody how to play a clutch i mean yeah. we're all different persons right i can have a read he can have a different one but in in a 4v4 i'm gonna say exactly what i want from my team i'm Help gonna be like guy. jdc you walk here johnny walk here you do you do this you do this and they all have to trust me mm. and it's not backseat gaming because I have the better read than them at the moment because I can see all the screens. Get the yes. full picture. Oh, exactly. I love, that's the exact answer I wanted as well. That's a great take. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like I can see everything they can't. It's very simple, you know. And mm. we trust each other always. Yeah, I suppose when you're at that level of play, right? Back back in my day, mate. You know, in-game leader calls the shots, and everybody else follows. So uh, this this it sounds like is a, a much nicer division of labor, right? Everybody has to understand at the highest level. And another buyback from Heroic here. So look, a couple of Khalils that were lighter on Util for a round like this. What do you think of this smoke? This smoke is really strong. I think uh, we have a stronger variation of it. I don't know if we showed it yet in official. Okay, well, Ooh. let's keep it a bit tight lip, shall we? Yeah, just saying that team should be scared, you know, but uh, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, it's, just, it's a very strong smoke. It's good against the yellow smoke, the deep yellow smoke that teams like to throw now. Mm. We call this that the really hampers. <laughs> <laughs> we call it snappy smoke. Okay. Yeah. They are also already on B, though. They're very heavy here. It's a great spot, though. When you're coming through the smoke and, uh, on this hit, you yeah, hear a guy default. Oh, yeah. he gets mollied and he gets flushed out. Now it's up to Fav and flashed in for more, but Shush pops in a second later. He's still blind. Double pop for Krimbo. Fava misses his fight. Krimbo needs something here. They line up, but he can't find a kill under the smoke. 30 seconds of Ops crossing in, but Krimbo's still keeping the pressure on. 2v2 now. Forget the bomb, they need the frags, oh, and Krimbo's got them all swinging out. Big up playing suppressive, and this is what we saw the other day in that Cole game. Almost like an identity change for Big. Often a team who will uh, used to love to cool off in those kind of 2v2s. I, I've seen Big throw themselves through smokes and, and just run uh, run players down on CT side specifically. Uh, they did it so much in that Cole game, they never let you breathe. I, I think just, that's very important, the balance. Yeah? I think uh, it's very important that these young guys like Krimbo, like Hype, for example, even like most of them, I don't think they're like old players, you know, like Kito, for example, is still young, you know, yeah. even though he's been here for a while. It's important to give them the freedom to feel like you can peak, to feel like you can be confident. It's like, I mean, sometimes, for example, when somebody's dead in our team, you would mm -hmm. say, peak him, peak him, you know, mm -hmm. even if it's on the paper, maybe not the best maybe thing to not do, the percentage just play. go peak him and yeah. kill him, because if you kill him, you're like, Next round, gonna fuck him again, you know? Yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. I like the sound of that. Now, Heroic again, right? Loss bonus is built out to max here, but you know how we were talking about the, they're going with that Tech 9 buy because they knew the money was low? This is the reverse side of that, right? So when you know that you've lost that break point opportunity where you could have ruined their economy and now you're in this pit, you know, is that something you just have to stomach in the middle of the game? Like, well, You have to. Yeah? You have to. It's risks that you have to take, basically. Because well, if you would win it, it's... I know, it's right? It's so tantalizing. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Chasing the dragon. Well, they have an AK out here, so this is still a very scary looking purchase. Oh, the, yeah, Molly from below as well, from below A, they throw it to elevator, it forces a reposition, it gives heroic middle. Oh, Shush just now taps know he's out caught. on B, and he knows there's more in store. Hype. Oh. In trouble now. Oh, oh yeah. dear. That's a big kill. B-bomb site open, bomb to get planted. Krimbo and Tapson in the retake here. I mean, same scenario, now they are recent. Yeah, well, it happened a couple of rounds yeah. later, didn't it? Exactly. <laughs> I kept it's that pressure risk. on. Hero AK, three kills so far, and they chase him down. That's it, now they have 2k, all of them, right? Oh, yeah. That's well. how CS works, man, it's a tough game. And this is with the much more lenient economy these Ex days, mate. Back, yeah. in, back in my yeah, day. Back in my day. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> hell, you lose a gun round. Yeah, have hard <laughs> resets. This is before we had the pendulum swinging. It was just, oh, you have lost bonus, you win a round. Oh, it's all reset. You lose the next. Back down to 1,400. Enjoy. Yeah, I remember that. And that's before anybody even knew what saving was, mate. That's how prehistoric I am. <laughs> yeah, that's because the, the, the post plants are so you weak, you would never save. Titan, no? I did. Yeah. Uh, it, and it was the best of one. So just flat oh, out beat Oh, you just won it. Yeah, we just won it. Yeah. yeah.
That is he top fragged as well. 27 kills. You'd, actually, I remember on Mirage, no? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, exactly. See? Exertion knows the law. Yeah, of course I know the law. Can't forget it. Lay it down. Now big if to buy. <laughs> yeah, but see how a couple of them have left a little bit of residual cash here. Hyped, obviously, the AWP. That one makes sense. Favon and Keita with a little bit. I feel like those two may as well have just gone all in. No helmets needed. Well, there's A4s, but... Very unlikely it will make much difference. It's interesting, right, as well, because that through the floor molly is allowed at ESL events, yeah. but it's not allowed in Blast yeah. events. I've memed that a couple of times. <laughs> I've seen it a lot this event. I mean, it's like the ancient things with the donut molly yeah. before they fixed it. Yeah, true. I mean, that is actually, like actually very bad for like professionalism, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's different. Would, yeah. Do you care if it's, it's like, allowed it, or not? It, like, yeah, you... of course, because let's say, for example, the ancient thing is, a, I don't know about this con, if it's such a big difference, but the ancient, Oh, Every you couldn't get mid control without it. Yeah, exactly. And then once you don't, you're like, okay, how do we take mid now? Yeah, very different. And yeah. then you a week after you play the other event, it's like. No, I agree. The consistency is definitely the like whatever the rule is, it should be consistent. Exactly. But yeah. what, what do you? I mean, what do you? Well, we'll this, this round's point. about to be oh, this point. Uh, over. The rebuy and they're doing it with MP9s. And you don't you love to see it if you're a heroic fan, but you love it if you're a German. This is popping off right now. Just down. He's not going to be much longer, and Tabson will get that, and that one feels real good. And Hey, buy everyone buy all the time, never stop. But because and they want the little half by heroic, they have money now still, you know. Yeah. They still have money. I'm sure it doesn't feel that good to lose to a couple nah, of it never feels good. <laughs> you always, you, actually, every time we lose a Nico or like a round we shouldn't, you always have like three seconds where you're really disappointed. Yeah. Three only three seconds. Yeah, but you have to reset after. Reset. Okay. How do, you, how, how do you reset? You just say I, I mean like we took this I think from G2 from Hunter. Yeah. We just say like he did good. We say they okay. Did. I've learned lots of little like little terms that yeah. they throw into their, their games. It's very today. easy. You, like you delicious. Throw. Like delicious, <laughs> like marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. Like yeah. if you get shot through smoke, he's cheating. Yeah, okay. he's cheating, yeah. But like That's if you lose a 1v3, well. everyone overpeaked. Yeah. And you just say he did good. It doesn't matter what happened, I don't care in the moment, you know? Okay. Yeah. No, we it's analyze okay. it after I give you, you know, or you give me uh uh uh. But I, yeah, okay. it's in the moment of, it doesn't matter. It's kinda like the idea of just saying nice try after you someone loses around, it's like the insta reset. It's better though. It's good. Yeah. You don't think about what you did. Yeah. Look at this, boys. Uh, B stream. 15, 13. 15, 13 oh. Imperial. Oh. Yeah. And this here is to get knocked down to the last chance bracket where we find complexity. So, uh, loser of this will be taken on Cole. Mm. It's going to get brutal down there. I think Cole are favorites, whoever they face, right? Well, they've been favorites in the last two games. Yeah, it still didn't true. go too well for them, did it? What can you do? Oh, here's the sandbag one way. That, that was a tutorial. I gave everybody that the other day. Shush. Oh, uh, he wants to take the timing. Yeah. Well, how do you... It looks bad now. But how... Okay, that's one. That's a key one that I think you could help the viewers out here with. Yeah. So wanting to take a timing, is that just feel? What are we talking it's with that? freeze time. I do the same. I'm also, as I said, I'm a mid pair on this side. Let's say I think this round... Yeah, Yabi is lurking behind him. That's first of all. So that's good. That's, they have two lurks. Now they won't expect Yabi. Okay. Second of all, it's like a... You see now he kills him, but it's like a feeling thing. Like let's say in the beginning of the round, okay, they played mid every round. I'm gonna go mid now. Okay, I would so just say to just Chris, I'm gonna walk out. Intuition. Mid. Exactly yes, and you should always follow your intuition in games. And look at what it's done. To How are they not ready He's for this? All the way behind. He, he took really good space. Actually. Yeah, he smoked CT. He ran through exactly. the smoke. They really weren't ready. Hype now on it, but Hype's dead. I'm sorry. However you paint it, Where's he's got he his back to. Uh, hello. <laughs> he didn't think Jabby was making a play, but the timings have been immaculate from Jabby in this round. And so Shush, what a smart boy for sneaking through that. Smoke. Yeah, he died for them to win the round, you know. And this this is a very common thing for me and Chris, like for me and Dexter in our team. You just die, and you're like, well, my team has a good situation now. Mm. Now it's for them to win it. Uh, now you know, like I can't do anything else. You're trading, trading yeah. one of the chess pieces, you know. Exactly. You think about when that, you, Chad. Next sacrifice. time I four v five us in a pug, you think about that. Mate, I'm doing it for the team. If you do any Mopoz sellouts, I'll, I'm going to go off my tree. <laughs> Mopoz, when they're in a number advantage situation, will sell out his oh. teammates just to win a clutch. Ooh. I'll see those happen. I'm thinking to myself, bloody hell. You know, Chad, a, a great man, a wise man once said. As long as you win the round. Yeah, that is very, a very wise man yeah. once said that. Heard that man beat Titan. Yeah, wow. yeah there's a, a lot going on around here today, isn't there? But this was marvelous. Nice round. Yeah, this is a marvelous round. <laughs> marvelous lurk from Yabi. He's, I think, top two, top three lurkers on T-side mid. Oh, he's okay. Very good. Are you top one? I don't drink myself, but he's very good. <laughs> These guys are humble. Yeah. You can't get them to, to hype themselves up too much. We were I asking about Academy. In the game only. In, huh? the, game. in, the, in game, the game. I can face anyone, any duel, any day. I'm the best in the world. But Outside now. of the game, never ever. Yeah. I, I, I like never it. Say That's that. a good way to conduct business. Yeah. Uh, you can't give respect in game. It doesn't work well. 
I think right. Keto uh, might have to give a whole lot of respect to whoever towards B. He does have one of the saved AK-47s in his hand, but they're going to do the bad. double boost. I love the double boost. It's very OP. Yeah, the B defender. Oh, oh. Keto. One more. Oh, he's ready. He wins alone. Oh my god, this guy's so good. And he has a smoke in case they molly quad. Yeah, he's flash, calling flash. for you two. He needs something. No one's coming. Nothing's coming, mate. You're still alive. You're still standing. You're still kicking. Molly. And he might have done enough. They, did, they used two mollies, neither of them on quad. So he's fine. See, one player ruined their plan. It was perfect plan from Heroic. They should have won the shot on Theory again, but Theory is worth nothing. Theory is worth nothing. It's okay. true, it's true. I like that one. I like it a lot. All right, well, Tessus, can he get any space here? They have actually relinquished a lot of control. It is just going to be hyped. This is not great for big. Why? No, they're gambled. in a bad situation. This is a really bad situation. How? And now they have to over-rotate here. Now, if Evan is low, they do have that kit. There is a smoke and a molly in play here. Kadian with the power position of Sandbag, but the bomb still needs to make its way up, and they're so worried about gap. He has molly H combo for default, but... Ooh, but he's ah, it's it. wide, it's wide. It dissipated. Anyway. I see so many people throw the molly too deep anyway. There it is. Okay. This is good enough. Kadian picks him one by one. Out they come. Stand with another. Taps and chasing. He can't get him. He's around the corner already. And Kadian hits two bangers from the Zuma to take down one here. man. That molly's good. He's got a smoke. Oh, Kadian's. Oh, he's cooked. Keto, not he again. Win this. He's got a one kit. Is low. He needs to get on it. Stan's forced to swing off of that smoke, but he gets behind cover in time. And Keto, oh, he's going for it, but that's not going to happen with two T's up. Yeah, I would say, like, Hype just stayed too long. They had, they had different plans. They left him on A, and he's still in long. It makes no sense, you know, and it could be bad comes from his teammates. It could be, like, just him understanding situations badly. That's when we can't know, you know? It, it does seem crazy with that over-rotation, but I, do you think that it may be they were thinking the B defenders would have hung around? Be, uh, sorry, the B, the B Ts, because they boosted on either side, right? No, it was and necessary. He it both. was necessary to rotate. Yeah. You know there is four B at that moment, and they killed two, but Faven was low, yeah. so they needed support on B. Keto was stuck quad in a way, but then Hype should just leave back. He had so play much retake. util as well. He had full util. Yeah. Like, he could just play retake, right? So... It's like those small details. It's okay to leave the site. You can gamble. You, they didn't even have better, like good weapons in that situation. But you have to do something together. Mm. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's like it, it is the worst feeling, you know, when Keto gets to there alone on B, completely shuts down their idea, and you are the last to clutch that one v three. After you're like, well, what could I have done? Yeah, how much more can he possibly do? No, and nothing. that right there, that from heroic is like that little two stacks. I think that is so good. That's and the B defender, I think, already has it really hard on Vertigo. That yeah. just makes it even worse. Yeah. You have now three angles you have to worry about simultaneously. It's like, man, give me a break. Well, there's that Molly we didn't yeah. get to see before. That's gonna land. Well, we call this glaive. What do you guys call this position at the top of the scaffolding? Well, behind the behind the pillar, almost. Behind the pillar. J Raz can probably get us a camera. I'm, I'm on it here, it. this spot. Uh, we call it 51. 51 because of the 51. Okay. That makes yeah, sense. I've heard that. And out of it is Zaiwu, and we have device as well. Oh, okay. Okay, because yeah. Zaiwu would hold that line with the orb quite often. Yeah, right? yeah. Zaiwu's yeah. up here, right? Exactly, this and on, on, on this right wall a bit. All of this basically is Zaiwu in a way. Yeah, where's okay. device? I think the vice is the other side. I'm not sure actually. Over here or or in in gap? No, over there. Like I think this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. I don't go A often, man. What can <laughs> okay. I no, you're just like a mid man. You're just Fair doing enough. your thing. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Walking in elevator with 20 seconds. Actually, we have a very fun because we are um, we have a very funny thing in our team because we are three players from NXT. Mm. Yeah. Now, uh, Torzi and JDC often come what we call something in NXT. Okay. And, mm. and it's very funny because I'm sitting there and I get confused as well. I'm like. I didn't hear this in like six months. Okay, okay. And this guy's in the main team for a year and a half. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, I start doubting myself. And then we, we all laugh about it. Every time we go, let's say we rewatch a pack and we hear this calm. Everyone goes and Sarah like, why do we call it this? You know, Frozen always says, ah. why, why are we saying this? You know? So are you, are you rewatching your pracks with the team speak over the top? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to. That's how you improve. You can't. Just it's play. so it's good man, these days, so isn't good, it? Oh, we didn't, yeah. This technology wasn't even possible. You have your coach recording the practice the whole time. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, every team does it. I mean, for sure. Yeah. Well, that, that's 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 what we uh, want to hear. Uh, only your POVs, right? You're not recording the demo from the server. And no, that's not. That, it's are, not yeah. uh, sportsman like to do it. No, exactly. Because then you yeah. can like. Because I know there was drama. Yeah, there was drama. You don't do that. That's not good. No, good. We used to kick the GoTV from the server. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, you have to do it. Now nowadays, you set up a server. It doesn't have GoTV anymore. Good.
Good on this you. Is in it. This is a change of pace. Hype's really aggressive. Hype's down and passed and dead. Okay, well, this Couple is them trying to fight fire with Ooh. fire here, but being mopped up frag after frag. A is open and on the two rotating players, Keto and Favor, not a whole lot to do. Great pace change from Heroic as well after some slow-ish rounds, some back and forth ones between the sites. That's a good nade after the damage as well, but it won't kill Tess, says Kadian's got cover and Favon is left alone. Heroic, they're in control of this one now. It was back and forth, but got the chance to go 9-6 up. I'm just checking in on the B stream right here, yeah. boys. It's going overtime. Oy, oy, oy. So that was 15 13 when we checked in, and now it's overtime between Imperial. Yeah, right? They were leading. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were. They it were. happened to them yesterday so versus Furia as well. Oh. They were leading on Mirage. Oh, they yeah. lost on overtime. Yeah. Oh, dear. We all were like, yeah, they won this map. Let's go. Let's go. No, Imperial. Let's go. Imperial. You know, and then like. They lost, and we and we sit there. Uh, actually, our coach called it. He he was like, "Guys, they're gonna lose this. I'm gonna go to sleep." Oh, that and he went nice. to sleep, and I'm like, "Nah, they won't lose this, man. They won't choke." And they choked. How is Cycron as a coach? Is he is he's he lovely. like is he a gentle man? He's uh, he's learning to be less less because, gentle. Yeah, because okay. we we <laughs> he's like, a big man. So. Exactly, he's he is the coach. You know, we okay. all respect him. Like, oh. because he's the coach, you know, he's, he's the head of the, yeah, of the lay pack, down basically. The law. Yeah. With Chris, of course, right? So, yeah, they're working on, uh, like, everything, how, how he wants to approach it. You know, we just told him, uh, like, I even told him, like, you can be straight up with me in the game. You think I'm doing something bad? You say, no, Dory, you don't do this shit anymore. You do something else now. And he's like, okay, I can do it, you know, because he's not, he doesn't want to hurt our feelings in a way, right? Because he's yeah. more of like a gentle coach, as he says. But I think he has a great mind for the game, and I'm uh, very happy to work with him. Actually. Sounds like you guys have a nice, healthy uh, environment over there to be yeah, we performing do. in. That we sounds do, great. Sure, yeah, we, we all do. We are all good friends. It's very important for me. As soon as I joined the main team, I was like, yeah, we, we need this. Okay, well, Heroic need this to get eight. I think that Molly might be in play here. Yabby, yeah, he's lining it up, and this will flush. Well, Hype's already, he's moved to Device. Yeah, he's uh, doing it. Oh, oh, over the top. Very well played. Any more? Hype looks for a second, but he's going to get smoked out. One way feels a bit, a bit tall there. Yeah, and he's can't really play it. A little bit further down the ramp, doesn't it? Yeah. This is still towards B, right? I don't think they really want to commit on this. Yeah. Oh, but They're just going to search for a kill. Oh, this oh, is beautiful. Was he anti? How did he dodge that? He hears it from there. It's close ah. enough to hear the flash. That's first of all. Second of all, I think Tapson didn't commit enough, actually, for the duel. To the fight. Yeah, he was exposed and he could I'm see screwed him. here. He's going to get mollied oh. out. Oh, Beautiful. they didn't hear it. Can he get another? No, Ooh. shush with the trade now. Now Tessus, Tessus on goes the up B. They wrote it B. Yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful round. Keto didn't fall for it, though. He was just about to leave. He's got nades out. Oh, he's behind he's, green, though. Yeah, he's going to just chill here. They're going to hear the steps now. It depends on this duel. This is the duel. Oh. Yeah, this is bad. That's not a good pick. It has to be a save. He could have bounced the molly on default. He tried to peek he it. He could have bounced throw. it. He could have just hit as well. They don't know about him. I think he hears the steps below B, and maybe he thinks that that's the closest player, not that someone's already snuck all the way in. But yeah, that's but the key of seesawing, right? Yeah, but the thing is, in modern CS now, especially Heroic, they always leave a lurk somewhere. That's first of all. Second of all, very unlikely a team will just, like, let's say they have ramp S3. Let's say Tessus was with them. Yeah, panic right And they just yeah. go B instantly. It doesn't make sense. You have no info to do this play, right? It's very risky. But if you have a guy walking up, it makes sense, you know? So when you hear the B steps, on the stairs, you're like, okay, one guy's on site. It's always like default com in any team speak. And I'm sure Keto knows this as well. It's probably like maybe panic, he wanted to molly. Maybe comms, even somebody told him to molly, right? I think he also knows like if he actually gets that molly on site perfectly, he wins around. around. Exactly, yeah. yes. It's the, like, it's like he probably even doubted in his head, should I do it or not? Will it die? Okay, that's good. They kept the AWP and they kept an M4 here. So they can drop a couple of rifles across for this final round to make this buy look uh, a little bit juicier. That was a nice shot from Hyped, but that was about it. This was all shush with a lot of impact. The two kills that he gets over towards A really open up the map and allows Tessus to work here. You see this, a nice shot with 12 seconds left. So good I actually really like Shush as a player. He has yeah. a lot of impact. He's very underrated. Okay, like he got uh, nominated for like the anchor of the year, closer, whatever it was, right? But. Like, he's a very key part of their team in my eyes. Everyone there is, like, very solid. They all have the ability to pop off. Like, yeah, everyone very can good be players, very strong. Look at this, Keto. You want to you wanna sit in it alone? Oh, oh he's going to go back. But now he's stuck. Make up your mind, because they're coming. He gets one. I guess he got two uh, info on two more B. It's not that bad. And early warning, at least, because he was all the way down. But they're going to boost again. Now Yabby's going to lurk mid soon, after some noise maybe from B players. They've got to jump up. They might dry walk this orb though. Yeah, oh, legs. He jumps the cross. And now Yabby activates, but no one's looking right now. Tapson's getting oh, in position. He gets spotted. It. Oh, he needed that kill. 2v4. Should be bigs. Yeah, it should be 8-7.
No flash either. Run boost, maybe? Yeah, here it yes, is. Yes, let's go, baby. Hoppa. Oh, <laughs> nice flick. Oh, this is just Stown, 16 points of health, and you get some chatty B play by play here. 43 seconds left, ah. and the first from Stown comes in. Three more heads to find, and needs to get that bomb. Second shot missed, and there it is. Tabson gonna take him, shut down the lights, and send us to a break. 8 7 at the half for the Danes. Can Big respond? Let's find out after this short break. Nobody can save you but you. Believe in them schemes if you want to. Self-motivation is a virtue. And the lack of that can truly hurt you. I just want to give you the tools to thrive in a world so cold against you and I. I ain't perfect nowhere near it. But I will share what was shared with me when I didn't want to hear it. Law of attraction, yeah, thoughts become things. So monitor what you think about it does bring. Good and bad vibes to fruition. I can lead you the truth, but I can't make you listen. No, it takes us to save us. The money will never change us. We gon' do we major. Gotta grind till it takes us to save us. It takes us to save us. The money will never change us. We gon' do we major. All facts, that's where I rap. Pushing buckets, still trying to find my way to the lap. Pushing my pen, still trying to get rich off rap. Pissed off fat, the oversaturation of that. Passionate about the craft, throwing away the trash. Tunnel vision with this, hoping that I don't crash. Planning for my success, only thing keep me stressed. Gotta do it the best, nothing more, nothing less. Never with the fugues, he tried to play me. I'm cool. We're back, baby, and, well, so a heroic 8-7 on the half. The slightest of leads, inseparable, some might say. We're going to get into this second half, and I'm joined by one Hugo B. Byron, Lord of the Manor, but the special guest who's sticking with us and making a name for himself at the caster desk. It's Exertion. He's been killing it, and I hope everybody at home has been enjoying it. Have you been enjoying your time? I'm very happy to be here. As I said, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm enjoying every second of this, and uh, yeah, let's see how this half goes. Yeah, well, uh, we're about to get underway here with Big on the... That is very oh, split. Stout. On an island, he just committed to that, and then But they in swear. theory, Stown is A player, so they could overthink the situation. Heavy rotation from Heroic here. Everyone's just dropped back, so nobody playing A. This is the right call. Keto with another. He's been great. Oh! Kill, and Keto just keeps <laughs> on going. 
Yeah. Actually, I have to say, even on practice, anything, like every time you play against Kito, he's so nice with USB and yeah? block. He's very good with pistols. Well, we saw his deagle prowess very on good Nuke, with pistols. right? Yes, that yes. round, yeah. He's obviously out. good with everything, with the rifle, of course. Pulled but out a 1v4 here. Yeah, the pistols he's really, really good at. He has very calm aim. Well, we don't know what they were going to use their utility for because it, it didn't really matter. I mean, matter. even missed the molly. <laughs> <laughs> they missed the molly, actually. So, yeah, don't worry about the nades, just worry about the headshots. And they're loving it now. Definitely seeing a uh, free-looking big as far as some of these fights go. Heroic. They're going to take uh, a full eco. A f the fullest of ecos. This is when you're confident on buy rounds. Well, yeah, and I, I guess we'll get to see how many Silence Den 4s are in play as well, right? Because this is still very difficult to pull off with, with A4s, right? The loss bonus into the next round is only going to be the 2400. They so all play A1s, actually. Okay. Like, maybe except Shush. I think they all play A1s. Yup, for sure. Uh, I think they all play A1s, actually. Pretty much, what was the stat like on AWPers? Like 85% of AWPers play A1. Yeah. yeah actually, it was insane. funny. We had a practice game where Torzi wanted to play some A4. And okay. Chris was like, mm, I'm counting how much times you drop as FAMAS. Ah. And, he was like, and, uh, and he was like, but I want to play for, you know? Yeah. I was like, okay, you can play it. Can't get the best of both worlds, oh. can ya? He can't grab the AK, though. Yeah, they should handle this one with ease. Just Yabby and Kadian. As Yabby comes looking, Hype does too. Kadian uh, should try not to die to the Mark 10, but... I don't think he has a choice. No choice, yeah. <laughs> no. It's coming for him. 9-8. Oh, 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 Body shooting. Yeah, people at home didn't see that. Body shooting for Crimbo. Hey, the young gun, 16 and 10, top of the server right now. Kadian can get an AWP out here. He had just over 5K, 550 to be exact. It's interesting in Ghost Rate, actually. Most uppers on Relico don't even feel obligated to play it. Like, Zaiwu doesn't play it a lot. Like, even, I mean, I know a lot of uppers even had this when he was in Ns. He, he made it basically in my eyes, like M4 basically. Yeah, Sphinx was using it more than him. Exactly, when they were both on the yeah, roster. yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh. I had spawned probably, that's why. I was going for it. But yeah, you see, only Shush has A4. I was right. Good call. Yeah. They're holding onto their smokes here quite early. Just one use is a oh, bit of burn. There goes one of those smokes. Flashes towards A. They're just going to scale up quite quickly here. They actually used two smokes already at 130. This is not a great round until now for a wreck. Now they're going to gamble four towards A and make a play again, like always. There's no kit, so Herog, do you want to play forward? Yeah, they're going to swing Crane and fight yeah. here. No flash, though. Oh, Hype's got no good flash, smoke yeah. for him, I think. He's on his own, though. The Shiro flash Hype over. might die. This is not a great angle, actually. Oh, look how oh. good that oh. the smoke is helping him so though. much. Wow. They've got the flash, so this pop just over the Crane. Oh, Hype's not looking there, though. He can turn back in time. And Yabby kills Keto, but they're coming in. Kadian's hit his shot, 3v3. Hype trying to chase him down. He's got them in the open. Trades another frag. Kadian falls and the plant can come through. Oh, sure, should I two on one situation here? Remember, Hugo said no kit. Well, these are the type of rounds he needs to step up for. X-ray off for this one here. We'll live in his eyes and his eyes only. Jumping up, not seeing a whole lot. He's been duked right now. She's nice. Space and can't win the fight. Favor oh, really? deletes him between Hyped and Favor. And they grab the first gun round of the second half. And look at the smiles on the faces. Yeah. They are beaming now. They are getting very loud in this last map. They are they are hyping up every single round. Heroic have been a lot quieter, a lot cooler in the last couple. And I think they feel like they threw away Inferno. That was their game in their hand. And some, uh, yeah, some sloppy rounds towards the end. Mate, big. you might be playing big on Sunday. Yeah. Good. <laughs> all right, all I don't right. Mind. They're both good teams. All right, well. Uh, I want to play good teams. Let's see if we can make that happen for you one way or another here. Again, the buy for Heroic. You don't love this, though, do you? Love it. No, like this, this type of a purchase here. They've yeah. had these starts to halves. Uh, sure, they won the pistol in the first half with the conversion, but their economy was in shambles for a lot of that early stage of the first half, and they're going to be in the same boat. Oh, no. Saw so one. So one from 15, oh. 13 down. Oh! Zero, dear. Easy kill off the boost. They just Yabby. explode. That's the bomb, though. Caught it. Sandbags down, trying to hide in the smoke. Lean, and very Favin's clean. just executing right now. This is what a very happened? bad round for Iraq to lose. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be 12-8. I can't believe that investment into this round of play as well, because sure, Max lost bonus into the next, but they're going to have to take a partial investment, right? Bigger, <laughs> likely to get up to 12-8, to eight, have a four-round buffer before Heroic have guns out again. Yeah, it's a gamble. And they're confident taking it, and sometimes it works, but they, this time it didn't. Mate, we've all been to the casino. Oh, 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 hello. Kadian would love to get his hands on a little something here. 
Let's get away. This is good, he's just gonna try to kill him. But he won't expect the second guy, actually. Yeah, they're both going CT as well, so he's actually missed the timing. Okay. Chasing his tail right now, isn't he? <sighs> yeah, he's gonna they're miss every time. They keep timing. escaping him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting baited so by getting backpacks. Frustrated. <laughs> if he, he picks he on the still, right, he yeah. can kill both, actually. Oh, definitely one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh! What can you do? That's a digger right there. Scary. Yeah. When you don't hit the first one, confidence down. <laughs> it's the best gun in the game, though, isn't it? It's amazing. It's such a nice. It's such Unfortunately, a nice. Unfortunately, not as good as with it as with other guns. But Who, who's the best in the team in the Deagle? Frozen. Frozen JDC. Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, Chris had an ace. Did you see that ace? I yes. did. Yeah, we played it for him. Yeah. I mean, I'm the worst in the team with Deagle for sure. Yeah. All right. I have decent rounds, but I'm not good with it. What, you, what are you, an AK man? I'm full spray, yeah. Okay, all right. You look full what? Spray. You like five seven? Pretty OP yeah, right pretty, now. I, I I like it, yeah. Oh, well, Tessis loves it. How does he win that duel, man? No idea. Oh, Shush might need to drop that defensive smoke. Oh. He's on an island right now. He doesn't have any help. Oh, needs to get it down because they're coming through. Shush needs to defend his honor right here. Dashed up, taken out of the round, and oh, fighting. Oh, what a shot! These five sevens are not meant to That's be long flash. range guns. Ooh, that's a good smoke for him, actually. Yeah, he can walk right through. Deep on Molly, no hurry. They're the ones feeling the pressure right now. Tess has picked up another. Oh! He's just chaining them together. Farming kills off the pistol. Ooh. Grimbo, it's so ugly. <laughs> and they get run down by an eco. You see, they lost last round, right? They How invested. They're like, okay, these? it's going to be 12-8. But this happened in the first half as well. It happened in every map. Yeah. It's a rock, oh, man. That's how they play. They just win the first seven rounds sometimes. They just go to the roulette table and put it on red or black every round here, but it's every spin. This was a great round from Tessus. He's yeah. having a fantastic match. I cannot make this gun work. It's like the CZ, dude. Like, you watch pros use it. It looks like the best gun in the game. And then you use I, it and you go... I play it and I just do every shot miss. Yeah, yeah. No hits. I feel the same. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Glad I'm not alone. Gob wasn't happy with that one. Krimbo either. Yeah, I mean, Krimbo, that tracking spray. He's, you know, when you're committing to it, but you're already behind and you stay behind the entire time. Well, this is actually a heroic timeout here. So that'll be their third use thus far in Vertigo. Now, remember, we'll remind everybody of the stakes here. Winner of this game do lock themselves in for the playoffs of yeah. Pro League Season 17, which will be coming your way in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, that will also get the honor of taking on Exertion's Maus uh, for the quarterfinal spot. So you win this one, you qualify for the playoffs. However, you have one more match for the quarters or the round of 12. And then we have two more teams to lock in throughout the remainder of the group. So uh, lots of more Counter-Strike action to come. That's a little public service announcement for everybody just tuning in. It's a huge round just to keep big down. Heroic can't celebrate yet with that eco win. So one of the keys here, like, oh, that's a that's a that's a bad nade. Uh, Could be worse. A, a bad nade, I think we'll call that one. So you you play mid, right? So if we're talking a little bit about mid here, as what I've been trying to preach in some of our five stacks is that our B and our mid defender need to have a symbiotic relationship here. Right? They yeah. need to play together an awful lot. That's a nice pick there from Tabson. Like, they need to either be playing together or if they're both playing passive, then they need to make sure there's a way they can support each other. Is, is, that's a relationship, the mid B player? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you, sometimes you just leave mid or sometimes you just leave B. Like in this round right here. And you just group, you know? But uh, yeah, for oh! sure. <laughs> This is looking way too they crispy. Haven't checked. Oh, Yabby. is firing. He is just sharp, ripping off heads. Heroic can't win a gun round. Those slashes that uh, Faven threw, actually, they set up the whole round for it. They wanted them to smoke beasters, <coughs> so the flash would pop above it from T-spawn. It's very OP flashes. Yeah, uh, they ends created them, actually. I, I'm pretty ends sure. Ends created them, yes. okay. They, they boosted in, uh, like on the left side as the smoke comes up. They just yeah, you just throw up. them above this blue thing here. Yeah. And then basically just pops right above the smoke and you can never throw that flash from uh, B, like B, like so, from anywhere. Uh, we're going to pop about here? Exactly. And ev everywhere is blind. Default, quad, catwalk, and wood as well, like Shush was blind here. Oh, nice shot. Exits don't matter though, really, when Big's getting away with this. 12 to 9, they get rid of another gun round. Yeah, for sure Heroic going to buy here. It will be a bit mishmash yeah. on Shush. Poor Shush. You can, drop you can get dropped by Jabby. Or I can use an MP9. Oh, yeah, you're right. He got dropped. Like, they're good. They, they made good. it work. Actually, like I said on Nuke, they were like Big was struggling because of, in my eyes, the individual skill. They were not really hitting their shots. They were not closing out rounds that they should have mm. as a team. And uh, now you can see everyone is really decently fragging in their team. And now they're playing. They look like much more of a, an alive team. It was also the same on Inferno at the end. Everyone was fragging basically. Tabson was coming back like he started. We even talked about it, it was like one six or something.
Yes. And yeah. then he came back to... And start both maps. Exactly. Yeah. This is very important, you know, when everyone is fragging it, the game will feel more fluid, you're winning the entry duels. Well, you can tell Big Phil like they're in control here. This is only the second time out that Gobby's had to call, right? Not only does the three-round lead help a lot here, but the fact that they haven't had to hit that emergency button to have too many cool-down moments. Katie and into the AWP. Silence then falls on everybody else. There's a kit, plenty of util. If Heroic won any shot, they have to win this one here. But sure, max loss bonus is in play. We've already touched on that. But uh, just no conversions in these gun rounds. It's going to be a two-man mid-start here. We're back in the game. Yabby and Kadian over towards mid. Shush defending B and Stan and Tessas to try and lock down A here. This is his favorite play. Kadian's favorite play, I think. Searching for a mid-pick. Yeah, it's very strong. It's it's the most annoying thing to deal with this mid player actually. Because even if you kill him, there's a rifle right by him. And very rare you kill him. Yeah. Oh, he goes, he just beats goes that through smoke. It. He does not care. It's a dangerous play. He's got nades on the sandbags, but they're going to get out of dodge. With the molly, Keto swings and actually gets that trade up, but he eats nades as well. It's a costly fight. One way, Shush will force more. Yabby's taken ladder. Shush has pushed B. If he stays here on this little island, he can cut them off coming back. If he oh, flanks T-spawn, oh, no. he might miss yeah. this entirely. Oh, no. oh, my goodness. They have slit the net. Wow. Oh, dear. It's a free B bomb site. But Yabby's still flanking and oh now they hear it. Now they know. Why they he, accelerate? They have some realization. They got because knives of out the fact running that up. If they wait too long, Heroic likes to take info back. Oh, and here then comes they that know. info. Yeah. That's the Orpa gone. They're just confused how he's there that quick. Kido's now low. they will get sandwiched. Should be a rogue round. Oh yeah, two players there. Wasn't ready for it, and it's done. Nice and easy for Heroic. The timing almost lets him down, but then the footsteps. Kind of may have saved them in a way as well over there, because, you know, shush, let's say he gets one and done. It falls, you know, sure. anything's possible at that point. Then they, they've just ran into B where they didn't know they were trapped. So it actually worked out better for Heroic not knowing. It's exactly also the where image, they were. you know? It's their image of Heroic. Like, you, when you go into an MTB bomb site, you're like, okay, they just gambled A. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to PK. They just want to take some information that you don't think, like, oh, you might just be behind us again. Yeah, that must have just become very frustrating to have to call against all the time because you don't know when they're going to be gambling, but you know it's very likely they will, and you don't know in what fashion they will gamble. Did you hear on in front of the call that they were talking about uh, was uh, was paranoia, which uh, apparently okay. is a common one, but especially used against heroic when, when you also outsiders. Yeah, ah, it's a good call, right? Like when you kill a player in a position, you think you know. Oh, I've I've killed. Yeah, you, you you think you cleared it because you killed a certain player in a position. You're calling paranoia. I mean, you can explain it better. I don't know why I'm explaining <laughs> it. Was it's a good attempt. It, cool. it was good. You explained yeah, it well. You, I mean, you call paranoia so you check everything. Exactly. You just go to a site and instead of like, oh, I killed a B player, I'm going to freely go and plant the bomb now. La, la, la. You know, you go like clear every single corner on the site before you plant the bomb. So you don't get ahead of yourself versus any team. Okay. But All some right. teams you don't need to do it against. Oof. Well. Straight up feeling it you right wanna now. Say? You want to say which teams you don't need to do it against? I mean, you, you can do it against any team. It depends on situation. Maybe time is low. Who's more predictable, would you say, out of the teams you play? Not necessarily predictable, but for example, they just play more default, you know? Yeah. The, maybe even Cloud9 are a team like they are really good fundamentally that they don't want to stack a lot. They don't really stack a lot. So against them, you, okay, you kill the B players. Go ahead, plant the bomb, yeah. you know? Uh, well, Heroic is screwed in this round. Yep. Check out this. Oh. Ooh, that oh, that might tempt you oh, in. Oh, okay. Well, we gotta get a move on here. One kill. They missed the molly on the second go. Yeah. And it's over. The game's over, I think. I'm calling it right now. Big win. Careful, because they're on the bomb. They get off it. Just needs to jump back in. Hype goes through the smoke. Oh, out of ammo. He said the, the game's over. We can't the find it. Oh, oh, maybe you're right. Where oh. is it? It's right there. What a heartbreaker. They tried so hard, Chad. Out of ammo in the Galil. Yeah. Oh. That's a heartbreaking <laughs> round. Centimeters away. Deary me. How do you not tilt at this, uh, this late? Because it's, that's just not an isolated incident. We're this late in the series. We're this late in the game. A game that qualifies you to the playoffs. And you lose that at 13-10. Oh, what a I, shot that was yeah. from Yami. I also saw it in a way. I mean, if you would focus on it. Yeah. So much going on. But yeah, it's those situations. But as you said, it's it's heartbreaking. But Heroic are a team that they have, they have good leadership with Kadian. They have really good mental resilience, I would say. So I'm not worried about them, to be honest. I, I actually, and their money is really Yeah, bad. maybe I spoke a bit too soon. This is, can... a good, this is a good situation for Heroic still. Well, they need, they need to make sure they can convert one of these here. They need to, yeah. I yeah. need your optimism on my teams because, my goodness, I, yeah, there'd be, there'd be kids screaming in your ears right now.
So look, in this situation, if Big lose this round, it's 1,400, right? So they'll have to force by next round anyway. If they can get a plant here and keep it costly for Heroic and then get a force buy out into the next, they can still keep the pressure on Heroic here, right? But Heroic do have the favorable buy. Four bloody Galils here. Yeah, they need you to. And Stown is sending it. He's had a very quiet map after an explosive series for Stown. He's played great all day, but not even approaching double digits here in round 24. This could be the round to set him up. He's on his own, isolated. Smoked up is Tessas. They're roofed up. This and is not Stown, good for Yeah, he wants to get out, but they will not let him escape. They hear the Coming steps fast. and they will chase. It's just Tessas. The rotation is so far away. He has to delay. This is all on Tessas right now. Steps into the fight and goes down. Beautiful they have to save. Absent. They have to save. Yeah, you do. Ouch. That's 14. I'm worried for Heroic. Damn. Big? Thompson okay. just had a good read. Well, uh, That's the IG read right there, actually. Uh, apparently, Sirison was the problem. It does look like Hyped is just taking a lot more... Initiative? Yeah, initiative's a good word for it, right? Like, he goes for openers. He he is very aggressive. Some of the plays we've seen him do in this tournament, in like mid-rounds and 2v2s, are things I just know Sirison would never even try in a million years. And they've not always worked. Hyped's had some missed shot, uh, shots. He's had some bad rounds. But he seems so much more confident and willing to throw his life on the line. And not in a wasteful way. It's really hard for us to know internally what was going on in the camp, right? Yeah. But if Sirison's decided to step away, that's like an indictment of how bad things were potentially going. I think uh, it's for the best. Yeah, but the team, the atmosphere seems pretty good right now, yeah. right? Hyped is actually, sure, he's not towards the top of the scoreboard by any means, but... He's had he some incredible games, though. Had some great impact. He's a good fit. It seems He's like a good a, fit for them. Seems like a seems like someone who also is helping to bring up the mood in a lot of these circumstances here, getting the boys fired up. I, also, I, yeah. you could even make the argument that maybe Keto saw something in him when he went down to Academy, would have played with him in the Academy yeah. squad. Sure. You know, could have uh could have spoke highly of this guy. Oh, we do have a technical issue. These are very infrequent at the moment. So yeah. this one uh we haven't had many tech issues I at all. Not we had we had a tech issue in our game versus yeah. so actually. So yesterday. But it was like headset sound. Something that is that normally what it is like team speak or, or headset issue? Yeah, it is team speak or something that what goes or wrong? PC crash. I've got to ask, I've used team speak <laughs> my whole goddamn life. I've never had a team speak issue. What is a team speak? Is it just issue? the volume of your team? Maybe, teammates? maybe so, for example, let's say your uh, like in ears is plugged somewhere and it goes up slightly, uh, your sound is uh, off. Oh, yeah, and you have to restart your game exactly and everything because, the, exactly, breaks, because yeah. as soon as you disconnect your headset and you plug it in your NCS, yes. the sound is gone still. Yeah, sure. That's so okay. you have to do that, it takes like two or three minutes probably. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. We can live with that. You know, that's a that's a good explanation of what's going on. I once had an event uh, where they had us in booths, and the coach, his PC was a laptop, and uh, the booths they wouldn't have let the Wi-Fi signal through consistently. So what would happen while we were playing is his voice would just come through like all at once, like it was. Much I don't know who would do it. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that. That wasn't much fun. No. No, not much fun at all. Uh, about as much fun as Heroic are having right now. Yeah, every time out now, bled dry. We're fourteen ten. There's more rounds in sight. Big ready to end it. What a what a let's talk about that. That what a statement that would be for Big to make this run to take down Heroic in the form they're in in a very close series that featured an overtime, a twenty nine rounder, and now this they've earned this win if they can get it. And I also that would think have both teams are through. playing pretty well. Yeah, I don't think it you doesn't feel like Heroic, uh, Heroic are playing no. bad or something. I agree. Okay, well, boom. Something has to change here. Orp on Katie and starting towards A, and it looks like they really want this short control. Now, if they were to peek on down, they wouldn't see an awful lot towards B, and a little bit of an alley oop as well, being set up with a flash at the ready for Yabby to have a looky loo. But not in a rush at all, are they, Big? They understand that they do control the pace of the game right now. They have much more util than them as well. They want them to use it. They are grouping mid, actually. They have not done this yet the whole game. All right, bleeding them out a little bit here. It's just down on the jiggle. So if they slip the net through middle here. Oh, Stown's actually rotated away. There's yeah, they're going to fake the retake. gap right now. They're going to fake the retake, and Cream Boy is the B player. So it will look even better for them. But Krimbo didn't see anyone, so it doesn't really matter. But Shush and Yabi seem very prepared for mid. 
Yeah, but they're going to walk right under. Oh. Shush's angle is for climbing up Con, and if they just keep walking, it's up to Stown to stop this, and oh, he needs to step up now. It's oh, ugly, but what? he saves it. Shush is there to find two kills. Bomb loose. Yeah, because leaping over Con, and it all comes crumbling down for big. A lot of room in mid, but they go no further. And Krimbo with the Galil here. This is not the weapon you want to have to be saving. I, I, in this situation, right, with the loss bonus is 1,400 into the next, he's going to be able to buy a Galil in the next round either way if he dies here. Would, would you say because he only has a Galil that it would be advisable for him to look for fights? Try and do some damage? In or? a way, yes, but it would feel really unnatural as a player in this situation. You feel like nowhere, no matter where you go, they have they know you're coming. Okay. And the, the angles you will be picking are not favorable. Are, are like 90-10. Okay. And you would be like, I would rather save and not give them my kill in a way. That's good rationale. Yeah, it's also like you can calm down, you can save. You can, like, for example, talk, I like yeah. to say, you guys can talk. And then everyone just talks as their next round, whatever you want to speak about, what happened wrong, you know? All right, it's a nice little multi use. It's to relax thing. a bit, even sometimes. You relax, can just relax a bit. Yeah, you can relax. You can be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, I'm going to save my Out of gun. timeouts. All right. right, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Gob's hyping him up right now. Yeah, I didn't hear an off gets Jungi in there, so. Uh... I heard a Junger. Oh, you heard a Junger? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. something about the boys. Yeah. All right, well, uh... Round boost. Oh, that's a yeet right there. And did Javi see? Yes, he did oh with the my flash. Oh, man. This guy is funny. Eviscerates him. Delicious. Delicious. Absolutely marvelous. Skills. Marvelous, yeah. Sublime. You can take that one back with you. Sublime? Yeah, bring that one in. See Chris if you can know it. catch on with the boys. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. Well, they'll be here next week, the Australians. Greyhound and Rooster. Two for one. Are they in the same group? Yeah. Ouch. Interesting. Uh, it's the group of stand-ins. We got Vitality with uh, Jax, Jax playing right. Uh, I'm very excited for that. Actually, Zero Zero yeah. Nation doesn't have Taco. ATK OG. is missing some players. OG. Uh, OG. Are, yeah. Are ATK missing players? Two players. I know DJ just got in. I want oh, to DJ say. got in, but one of I them. I think DJ yeah. made it. I think it was. They were playing was online Kakanito. games with Kakanito. Yeah. Yeah. Kakanito is a stand-in. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, Fady's standard, not yeah. playing anymore. Uh, yeah. And um, OG with Nico. Yes. And there's probably Anyone one else? more as well. Phase nip with config. Yeah, but technically that's more like time. a long term. A little more time. Yeah. yeah. But I'm with you. I it's yeah, still it's, it's still quite open fresh. Go on the boys then. It's going to be chaotic. That's oh, oh the molly timing's good. And a miss though. But he responds well. Tessa sprays as Tabs and walks in. Heroic going to win this round, folks. Actually, the fact that Yabi got two kills so clean on B, and the fact that the rumbles didn't work, momentum shifts a lot now. Oh. Okay, that's a slight bit of damage. You want to go a little bit deeper on that for us? Yeah, it's just uh, the fact that a run boost on B is more of a momentum play, I would say. It's when you when you feel good, the B player is like, run boost me, I want to kill them. But when it doesn't work, you're like, okay, now I have to take a step. Like, they take two steps back, and they're like, okay, now I'm going to be passive. I don't want to give up my entry again, so the IGL is not, you know, getting upset call, at basically. me, but yeah, okay. It, it's natural yeah. reaction, and... Like, the fact that Yabi got two kills, now it's, again, it's mind games. Can't they won't go B again, or now they will mid default, or now they will A default. They stuck towards A. Heroic love those mind games, you know? Well, here's the run boost again, but this response was great. So the Ney that was throwing the smoke here, is he using that to peek through? Or was that just a misthrown HE? Because that was I, quite interesting. They threw the Ney just in front of him at wood. It plumed, and then he was looking through it for those fights. Didn't see. I didn't see it as well, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that was the, yeah, anyway. What, heroic through a nade it looked uh, in like front it. of the wood. Yeah, it could have, as yeah. he jumped up. Yeah, the smoke is really strong. Yeah. It's uh, the yeah. same as with Molly. And I suppose if you don't know that that play is coming, it can catch you off guard. So it's going to be a uh, timeout. The last from Big being expended here. And not only are you mentioning the, the momentum of the mind games of the fights, it looks like there's some shifting momentum as, oh, I was going to say as far as the buyers are concerned. So loss bonus, yeah. Going to be 2,400 into the next here. They've decided to buy around these two saved AKs. They're going to get out of this. Tabton actually gets gifted the AK from Hyped, I believe. Yep. And uh, you're going to see yourself... This is a very smart decision because if they would save this, they would only have oh, half full buy. Oh, he missed, oh, he missed it. it. Yeah, ah. it's a big... Oh, and he saw him then. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> if he hit that nade, I don't think he sees it. Yeah, him. probably not. He was just he's looking, looking down. straight there. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, you see teams do that with mo like throw that molly instead of a nade. He couldn't do in. that again if he tried. Yeah. There's nah. no way. I like, missed that yeah. perfectly on the knife's edge. That's, hey, sometimes fortune, fate, it intertwines. Oh, there's going to be a mid fight here. Falvin's patient, but you know the second Falvin pulls his flash out for a short, he's going to get peaked. I think that's what Sound is waiting for. Usually a lot of people do nades from here. 
So he's waiting for the timing. He pulls the nade and he's going to swing him. Yeah, if he hears it. Ooh. That's, oh, good luck, Jakey. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, we'll try and keep... Here it is. Here it is. Down. Oh. He's going to peek into it. There it is. Oh! oh! He survives, but there's still up a ramp. Tessas can backstab. Down did finish that kill. Beautiful. And Big get wiped on the A site. Only Crimbo. And even the flank is contained. Bye bye. What do you call this position exertion? No name. You go, okay, we started calling this danger. Danger. Yeah. I, I've never seen anyone there in my life. We wow. So we had to go through. Wait, it with, what? You you like? I've never had to more call like this. here, right? This corner. Yeah, but I would never. I never had to communicate to someone. Yeah. Usually, when let's say I'm flanking A, mm -hmm. I always am alone. Like ninety percent of the time, you will be alone. You know. Is this a Crimbo one on no five bomb. situation? No bomb, no bomb. Right, with 28 seconds left, he teleports, he uses no clip, he appears on the side. Really Possible. Yeah, yeah. But I think we have uh, cheats turned off on land. At least I hope <laughs> we do. It might explain a lot. I mean, actually, I, I have to say, though, Stan went for this play on mid now, and he's not having a great game, which shows a lot about him. It shows a lot of character, you know? It's, okay. it's very important. I mean, it's something I really try to think about. You have play good, you play bad, you yeah. aim well, you play, you aim down well. You have to play the exact same CS. It doesn't matter. If you go into this mind games with yourself, it's the worst thing. So the fact that he's still making plays is really impressive and it's really good. Um, so he hasn't kind of crawled into his shell here. Exactly, gone, that's the worst. I just won't be a liability. That is the worst, yeah. yes. That is the worst. And, and I'm sure that he's communicating well, you know? And that is the most important thing when you're having a bad game. Make up for it in other ways. Well, this was a cleanup here, right? Krimbo does walk away with a saved M4, and that's going to be the, the biggest weapon they have coming into this round number 28. So Heroic should be able to putt this one in to get tie us up 14-14, and big, then the guns will come back out for big. Big have saved three rounds in a row on T side, which is not that common. You know? I, I feel like their economy is really fucked. Yeah. I feel like they really need a plant here because Krimbo, with the loss bonus of 2,900 into the next, is going to be shy of an AK. So. For him, plant will be good. it's going to mean an awful lot for them. I they should get a plant it. down, though, to be honest, theoretically. Well, there's no bombs well, in this. I heard so. that theory doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's a smart guy right there. Yeah, it sounds pretty smart. <laughs> He's ready for the boost, yeah. but they won't boost. This is a boost, yeah. but there are three. Uh, this should be an, an array round, theoretically. Oh, theoretically. Theoretically, let's see if the theory turns into the fact. They're going to see they the run up the mid. They block each other. Down blind. Hey, he gets some damage, but it's not pretty, is it? Can they get the gun? They're going for it. Tess is swooped in. He's got the bomb. Hype can still grab that M4 and CT spawn. and Tess is giving it up. This is awkward. Very awkward. Katie sure doesn't know if he wants to push I mean, he's not alone, but this is really awkward for both Shush and Yabi. And also they the A players. This is, this is a very weird situation. You don't find yourself often in this. They can't rotate through spawn. If they do, I think hyped in this position, it's... Wow. He should get cleared. It's it not as OP like as you think. See him first. It's not as OP as Tessis you think. Will always yeah. See him. Yeah. It, doesn't, it looks powerful. It's, it's not. really not. Yeah. It's really not. Because you're looking that way anyway. You're looking to the left, so you're going to uh, hit the flake. Now they're going to clear mid because they need like some space oh, back. Oh, Grimbo. Oh, through the grate. Oh, he turns. And oh! that is great for Crimbo. Three in the round, almost a fourth, and it's up to the P250. 1v1 on the site. Can't finish the job, and Ooh. heroic. Still, like, Crimbo kills three players, so now he does have the money. He doesn't even need a plant. There you go. Hey. So it worked out. That's exactly. not too bad. That's That's I don't need you guys, he says. I'm going to kill him. He earns his own money, you exactly. know? An independent man is Crimbo. 900 smackaroos from those frags right there. I, I can't believe we had big in the position they were in at 14-10, ready to end this game, and now heroic have somehow how made it a 30 round it's it's heroic least. yeah it's heroic don't care. It's, it's so heroic you look it looked like they were done one good round from yabby everyone is shouting let's go yeah reminding themselves who they are and now yeah. big they need the biggest strap the best strap Katie. the boldest strap and that might be it but it won't work finally tapson got punished for his aggression first time oh they're all doing it this seems so desperate yeah, but what is going to be their great. last full gun round? It's just an ego. This is a full full local call. Oh, oh. hey. I'll get it right back their way. Miss Molly, one does bounce through. Kadian, got to pick a side. He picks the right one. They kind of have to fight. Shush is pushing B right now. Oh. There's no way back. Sandbags player isolated here. Tessus is low. Uh. Blocking each other now. Tessus has found Hype. There's two more to find. Remember, this Shush push is still coming. One man left of Faven. Ooh. And he's going to grab two. Don't low HP. Low HP. Got plenty of time. He smoked that. What's that? I think that's a miss smoke, no? It's a lineup. I see a Molly might there. Might have a but... gap for a one way. Oh my, imagine. Show me Faven. Does he oh, jump he up? Does. Oh, did he... oh, that's sick. I don't think it's on purpose, actually. Really? It looked like a lineup. Yeah, it, it is a lineup. Ah. Uh... I don't know, bro. Looks pretty <laughs> purpose to me. This Maybe is... he thought he had a Molly. That's my guess. Yeah, it could be that. Because that's a Molly lineup for sure. 
Oh, okay, well. That could be a smoke. He found a way. Oh, no. And he's found a 1v1, but the flank is in imminent. It's right behind him. Shot from death. Shush, see the Shush walks yes, in. Yes, he's low as well, so. Oh, Shush didn't Tick see the bomb. Tick tock. Oh, and he's backed off. He didn't see the bomb. If Haven goes, he did, well, is there time to go to B? He might have to run here. He could, he could walk now. to B, oh. but uh, there's no, no way chance. he clears this. No chance. No he's way. He's going to carry no long chance. and it should be game over. Oh, Shush, just chill. You've got the round. You've got it now. 15 for Heroic. A valiant attempt for Favon, but it goes no further than he that. He wins those, I told you. Damn, okay. Well, this is uh, real issues now for Big. And yeah, you said a loco call. Uh, yeah, it was It was definitely very YOLO, wasn't it? You consider this it's lead. It's go big or go home. And hey. yeah, they, they found themselves in a really rough spot now. Like just to, to, that was their better buy round, right? This last round, if they did that play, I'd be like, okay, yeah, Makes fair sense. enough. But yeah. doing it on your, what was your last real gun round? That's rough. That was so the round I they guess. had. Yeah. They believed it. I, yeah, well. Like you said, Tabson hadn't been punished. He'd gone through that smoke more than once. Maybe they shouldn't have believed it. That's, you know, that's Counter-Strike, They go maybe. back to the mid thing that uh, it didn't work for them last time. Mm, that was the four walk, wasn't it? Now they're well, going S3. But this time around, it's just Yabby jiggling from Elevator, right? And Shush solo on B during all of this. Oh, he's smart. He moves and he mollied them in mid. Cheeky boy. Okay, they passed it. Very deep. Tabs oh, missed the molly. It. He missed the molly. Oh, well, there's no one elevator anyway to punish him. Oh. He gets caught looking the wrong way. And Big breathe they a sigh of a relief. They know overtime is in the mist. They need these kills the down and Acadian line up for two. And the bomb, as you say, loose in spawn. It's a recovery mission now. So much time, so much to worry about both teams here. <laughs> it's such an awkward situation. The bomb literally in CT spawn. Not the first time we've even seen this either. Look how awkward this is. And everyone's waiting for a kill, but eventually the time will decide for big. They've got to go searching. Good smoke, good wall bang. Favon finds Cadian. Tess is on an island. His teammate is smoked off, and so he completes the rotate into the site and Stahl finds the timing to walk through. If he goes right now, he could have won it. 25, they've got to pick a site. Tess is in the right place. Knife out, there's no trade. What are they doing? Crypto's alone. He needed help, Farrell will provide, but Stahl wins his 1v1 and it might be all for nothing. Keto going for the bomb. 10 seconds, he can stick it, it's but Stahl has the health advantage. Let's see if he's, he's resilient or not. Tough game for him. Oh, it's all this. He's just taking a breath here. It's two great maps. I, I think that Keto would expect Stan to be faster on the on the trail here, right? So he feels like he's already locked in. Feels like he can't transition back towards the lobby. Yeah, this is like straight up. He knows he's coming city. He has to gamble as well. He's low. Do or die. With a one and done position, Stown running in, footsteps heard, he needs the headshot right now, jumping. Keto's in cover, right behind the boxes, and Stown has no idea, tap, he Whoa. swings, and heroic takedown big, and qualified to the playoffs of ESL Pro League. That is a sigh of relief, a stressful series, overtime 29 and 30 rounds, they had to work for it today. 14-10 to bring that back, what a streak, six consecutive rounds here to close, and it wasn't like there was lack of threat, big with saved guns, right, they were constantly able to apply, apply some pressure there. But that is a matchup Heroic should be proud of. And guess what, mate? You've got your opponent for Sunday. Good, I'm excited. To yeah, play you them. want to take them on? Yeah, they're a great team. How are you feeling about the, the performance you've seen from them here today?